Now we're moving ahead to chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4, section 1 is about exponential functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to evaluate exponential functions, graph exponential functions, evaluate functions with base e, and use the compound interest formulas. So first of all, we're going to get into a little bit of the basics of exponential functions. Up to this point, we've done uh, certain things. We've looked at functions that are linear. Whoops, my help, I have my pen. Uh, we've looked at linear functions that graph like this, and we've talked a little bit about how we use linear functions in the everyday world, that uh, how you can you know, model things like speed and salary and stuff like that. We've also kind of talked about quadratics. That's an awful parabola, but uh, as you can see, a quadratic, a lot of projectile motion and stuff like that deals with quadratics. And let's see if we can't move on. Um, other things that we're going to study is what is called an exponential function. So exponential functions grow like this. Okay, and you'll hear people say in the real world a lot of stuff like exponential growth, and that's kind of what it's talking about. And there are a lot of things that can be modeled by exponential growth, especially things like populations, uh, money, hopefully, if you're doing your job right. Um, and yeah, so, you know, one thing that we have studied is this right here, this parabola. And we've studied the formula of a parabola to be something like this, x squared. Well, an exponential function is uh, similar, but also very different. So if you're looking at an exponential function, unlike a quadratic, what you're going to have is 2 to the x power. So as you can see, some things have changed. Uh, in an exponential function, I mean, in a quadratic function, your base is a variable and your exponent's a constant. With an exponential function, you have your base is a constant and your variable is an exponent. So we're going to look at some characteristics of an exponential function and see if we can't figure out some more about it.